Hi guys and Happy New Year! The first video for 2021, I would like to share how to get started with note rate using Raspberry Pi. Before that, please like, share, subscribe and press the bell to get the latest update from us. NoteRate is a programming tool based on a web browser and easy to use. You need to arrange the notes and link them to create a program flow. I'm using a Raspberry Pi 4 with Raspberry Pi OS and recommended software. As usual, I remote the Raspberry Pi using VS Code. Next, go to NoteRate website. Click on the Documentation tab, select Getting Started, Raspberry Pi. This topic starts with how to install NoteRate in Raspberry Pi. Since I'm using Raspberry Pi OS and recommended software, by default NoteRate has been installed. If you would like to install it, you can use this command. Done install, you can run NoteRate using this command. Next, I can open the note read in my laptop browser through this link. Please make sure your laptop and Raspberry Pi are connected in the same network. Okay, this is note read layout. The top side is a header area. The left side is a palette area. The middle side is a workspace area and the right side is a sidebar area. Next, we will try to create the first flow. Go to user guide, creating your first flow. We have done number one, access the editor. Next, we proceed with number 2, add an inject node, followed by number 3, add a debug node. Then number 4, wire the two together. Click the deploy button. Click the inject button and you should see numbers appear in the sidebar. By default, the inject node uses the number of milliseconds since January 1st, 1970 as its payload. Next, we try to add a function node. The function node allows you to pass each message through a JavaScript function. Copy the following code and paste in the function node. Click done. Link all the nodes and click the deploy button. And click the inject button to see the output message. Now we will notice it still displays date and time but in the string format. It is based on Malaysia time. I can say the function node is converting the timestamp numbers into date and time in string format. This flow demonstrates the basic concept of creating a flow. It shows how the inject node can be used to manually trigger a flow and how the debug node displays message in the sidebar. If you would like to use the sample program for node rate, you can check here. The flow created in this tutorial is represented by the following JSON. 
to import it into the editor, copy it to your clipboard and then paste it into the import dialog. Click the import button. You can see the complete flow as we did before. Put it in the workspace. You can click on the nodes to verify. Again, click the deploy button. Click the inject button to see the debug message. As expected, the result is the same. So you can explore more on node rate through the example code on the internet. So I think that's all for today. I'm Idris from Cytron Technologies. Good luck and thank you for watching.